Hey everyone, it's Max Fisher here from Veteran Universe. It's day 58. We're almost coming to the close and I want to just uh, take this time to tell you guys we need to revise our goals at the end of every challenge. Uh, you guys already know that that's important and it's, um, it's the only way to really make the course corrections that are important to get to that final finale or wherever you're trying to go, your dream, your purpose, your aspirations. So I want to set you guys up for success. I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing for the next challenge right now today. That way on day 60, because um, tomorrow would be usually Motivation Monday, I'm going to wait till Tuesday. We're going to do a little special uh, special video for the Tuesday afternoon and um, that will complete the end of the 60 day challenge. We're going to get started right back up on uh, Monday and uh, we're gonna do a 30-day sprint so most people overestimate what they can do in a day and underestimate what they can do in a month so we're gonna try and get after that and make it happen I know that some of us have some you know pre-existing goals maybe we didn't complete today now is the time guys now if you came thus far with XYZ goal uh, this next 30 days is the time to crush it, take it fully under your belt. If you've been building these disciplines and these 60-day challenges, it's really time to take a hold of it. Uh, and this 30-day sprint, it's going to be every day. Yeah, I can understand when uh, it's a 60-day challenge that it, um, it can get a little taxing to uh, be that persistent and uh, keep that mindful over that uh, two month span and to be able to look that far ahead it's it's kind of challenging sometimes so I want you to take into account like some maybe goals that you set up for your you know changes that you're trying to make in your life goals that you set up for the to complete in the two months I want you to see if you can compress all of that I want you to start finding out how to optimize your time so that way you make the most out of every week and every day uh, this 30 day so if you know if your goal was to lose uh, four pounds every month that's a pound a week and your goal was to lose you know 10 pounds by the end of the two months let's compress that let's see if we can lose 10 pounds in a month let's see if we can put in the effort if we can uh, get everything going revise our goals and get so focused and unwavering in our intent that we can make the thing happen that we want to happen in a shorter period of time that's the whole idea behind this if you have an unwavering intent for something it's almost without even reason or it's in, in the realm of impossibility that you won't get it because when you have an unwavering intent let me put it in terms that you guys can uh, you know grasp a little better if you're trying to lose 10 20 pounds but you're still having cheat days cheat meals uh, you're not going to that you're only going to the gym five days a week if you really committed if you really focus if you put every single thing that you put into your mouth into account in your mind really took responsibility for the amount of nutrition and uh, energy that you have the next day if you really put in the mental focus the visualization the the seeing the believing the changing of your belief structures if you really went to the gym six seven days a week let's say seven days a week one day being a rest day where you take the time to do your yoga you do your run you do your cool down you do your body maintenance if you take that time that effort if you put that on wavering focus if you are instead of watching discriminatory television if you're taking your time to research health advice tips ideas on weight loss people who have done it before if you're taking that time to find the motivation to look up motivation to inspire yourself to make that happen with that unwavering intent you can make anything happen in these next 30 days now the problem is with 60 day challenges is not everyone can hold an unwavering intent for that long sometimes the discipline isn't there uh, maybe this is where we're gonna break that self-limiting belief where we're gonna find out how do we can focus all of our effort into making something happen so realistically with this next one I want you to choose three goals one one big one one that you, it's a must you can't put this off any fucking longer you have to make it happen that's what I want I want a must then on the other two don't make don't think that they shouldn't be a must but they're just equally as important how do I put this this they're equally as important in your completion but the the detriment of them holding you back isn't as dramatic so make those two whether you know your your must is a physical goal and you know 
your other two are just like progress to be made in a business or uh, a spiritual goal or um, emotional relationships stuff like that it doesn't you know it doesn't have to be your fitness is your must maybe your emotional or relationship or spiritual goal is a must but find that must and then find the other two things that are going to progress you towards where you want to be so for me like I said I did not I did not do the proper work I did not put in enough energy I did not put in enough focus and I I know I can feel I can tell I have a mental block about creating this website I'm not a tech person I've got all the legal pages done but it, there's not any content that's you know I need to just to break that mental block these next 30 days I need to have an unwavering focus an unwavering intent to sit down when I'm on my computer and to think nothing about building that website, creating some resources, making that happen, making it look good, stop defeating myself inside. The other two, the ones that are going to progress me, the ones that are going to get me towards where I want to be, I'm putting meditation back on the list. I know I've been telling you guys I've been doing 90% of the time, 95% of the time, but 100% is what's going to do it for me. You know, that's going to be, that's going to be my thing. And it's, I realize it's still a work in progress and maybe because I'm not making it a must, uh, that might be part of my detriment, I think. But that's going on the list. It's got to be done. It's got to be hit for 30 days straight. No excuses, no nothing. Just make it happen. And I feel like after I can fully ingrain it, it's, it's become a part of me, but not a consistent, disciplined part of me. Not actually, let me take that back. Not a consistent part of me that I don't have to discipline myself to do. So, in the next 30 days, we're making that happen. I had tremendous progress. I've got you know my hands in. I've got my straddle front. I can't hold the full front, but you know that was in the goals. That didn't exactly happen. And uh, I still got two days. You never know. And the planch, eh, that's pretty far out of it. But hey, so. As far as, you know, I've got my business goals, I've got my spiritual goal, um, my business being the major, and my spiritual goal being the minor. Well, let's not say minor, that that's kind of a loaded word right there. So, we'll say, um, and good prospects, I've got, you know, my other, my other, uh, my other spiritual goal, and my physical goal, it's going to be, um, it's going to be getting that front lever. That's, uh, that's the next step in the progression of advanced calisthenics that I'm doing and um, just something that I'm going to work towards and uh, I might even incorporate the human flag with that just for shits and giggles because why not, you know. No sense in, uh, never. it's never all right to aim too low and hit. It's better to aim too high and miss in my opinion. Just an opinion. But anyway, so guys, uh, You've got the basics, you've got the structure, you understand kind of what's going to happen in these next 30 days. You understand that we need to bring an unwavering focus, an unwavering intent into what you're going to be doing. Um, as far as where I'm going to be coming in with you guys, I want to do, I'm changing Motivation Monday to Mindfulness Monday. We need to, I need to work on some meditations with you guys. I need to, um, you know, show you some of the things that I've learned uh, inside and uh, the the, some of the um, I kind of get into the more science and mindfulness stuff on other days and I feel like I need to more dedicate uh, one day to the mindfulness stuff instead of interrupting other days uh, with the, the aspects of the mind and the perception and awareness so motivation Mondays now mindfulness Mondays uh, workout Wednesdays still doing them I, I mean there's we don't. You don't have to consider it a workout. Maybe, uh, I mean, some days we're doing yoga. Some days we're doing calisthenics. Some days we're doing a little bit of powerlifting. Some days, uh, I might just be doing a turtle on, uh, you know, handstands or front levers or maybe even, you know, just a couple positions in yoga. Uh, so we're, that's going to be workout Wednesday, guys. Fired up Friday, still motivation, getting you ready. I want you pumped up for the weekends. I want you taking advantage of the weekends. I know when you get out of work on Friday, you want to relax. That is not the key to success, guys. You got to grind. You got to move forward. It's it's your responsibility. Don't um, 
I mean, yeah, this is, I'm just trying to get you fired up. I want to get you motivated, inspired, truly dedicated. I get it. I'm trying to make that happen for you guys. But on Fridays, it's got to be about you. It's got to be, you got to find it within. It's your own responsibility. You, it's your responsibility to, uh, to make the best of this life for your family, your kids, your, uh, your loved ones, your, uh, just everyone in the world. You know, if, if you're not living up to your full potential, there's parts of the, that you're going to miss out on and that everyone's going to miss out on because with your true potential and you taking full advantage of it brings a unique gift to this entire world. So I want a lot of people don't take advantage of the weekends. A lot of people get off on Friday and then it's boom, hit the couch, hit the relaxation button. Don't even think about, you know, your future until Monday and then your or Sunday, Sunday night and you're thinking about your future like, "Oh, I have to get up to work on Monday." Still doing the Weekend Warrior Series. That's just going to be a little mix-up, jam-up, uh, you know, motivation, science, workouts, whatever. You know, it's kind of just kind of like today, you know. I'm just trying to uh, talk some insight, talk some, maybe help you plan, help you structure, help you figure out what's going on on my end so you guys can uh, correlate on your end. Uh, honestly, guys, uh, this this whole process is a life process. It's not... We're not, you know, challenges are challenges, and we give them time frames just to see if we can push ourselves to excel further and give more effort. But if you're giving all your effort every day, that's all it's about, guys. So, uh, some kind of organization always helps. That's why, you know, it's good to structure days with times and uh, goals with time dates and stuff like that. But uh, realistically, guys, it's just about giving your all and becoming the best you can be every single day. It's day 58 right now. We're going to get after it hard. I'll see you guys on Tuesday on day 60, and we're going to talk a little bit more about planning, structuring, uh, visualization on your goals, because I really want you guys to hit this 30-day this mark. When you guys come out of this next 30-day mark, I hope you hit this on the 60-day mark. I hope on Tuesday when this challenge is over, you guys are just like blown away by what you've accomplished, the knowledge that you've taken, and maybe some of the uh, changes you made in your mind and all that so and then if you're not if you're if you're kind of falling behind or if you are I mean you're excited you're pumped up let's see what we can get done in the next 30 days if you didn't complete your goals let's see what we can get done in the next 30 days it's a process guys we got to keep moving forward no matter what it is whether you failed whether you achieved whether you succeeded whether you just fell flat on your face whatever it is it doesn't freaking matter never let what never let what you couldn't do before define what you're about to do now um, failure is a learning curve. Falling flat on your face, a learning curve. I mean, you're going to learn more th from that than you are from being successful. You might have learned to be successful, but chances are you had to fail to learn that mistake to get to the point to where you are. So, uh, day 58, guys, uh, that's enough of me rambling. I'll see you on day 60. It's going to be on a Tuesday. Don't, remember, no motivation Monday tomorrow, so don't be checking your inbox too much for that. Uh, I'll see you then. Max Fisher, Mind, Body, Spirit Connection from a Better Universe. Later.